Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer uh, activity documenting the network. In this packet tracer activity, uh, our job is to document the accessing scheme and the connections used in the central portion of the networks. Coming to the topology, here we can see the central portion, right? Uh, you must use a variety of commands to gather the required information. Uh, so here we are going to use some show commands uh, like show IP interface brief, show interfaces, show running config and IP config. Also here we can see uh, user exit password is Cisco and privileged exit password is class. Yes, now we will come to uh, requirements. Access the command line of the various devices in the central. Okay, coming to the central, here we can see the number of devices. Here we can see the router R2, and we have a couple of uh, switches like S1, S2, S3, and we have layer 3 uh, devices D1, D2. Here we can see the end devices such as central server and uh, for uh, desktops. Use commands to gather the information required in the addressing scheme and to device connection documentation table. Yes, here we can see that. So some fields are empty. We are going to identify these like addresses, submit to mass, device name, interface, etc. Right. If you do not remember the necessary commands, you can use the iOS built-in help system. Okay, we will do that. If you still need additional hints, refer to the hints page. In Packet Tracer, click the right arrow on the bottom right side of the instruction window. If you have a printed version of the instructions, the hints page is, is the last page. Okay, here we will come. Here we can see the number of show commands. So we are going to use these show commands and uh, we are going to update uh, this uh, addressing scheme. First of all, we will come to uh, the device uh, R2. Okay. Here the password is uh, class. Now we are going to give show IP interface brief here. And to here in this, uh, we can see the IP address of each interfaces. Also, we can see the status and protocol. Also, we can use uh, show interfaces and we can see the details here we can see the interface each interface a gigabit of zero slash zero we can see first and here they given the ip address and its prefix length also we can see uh, this interface uh, status it is up line protocol is up also we can see the second interface gigabit of zero slash one here we can see gigabit of zero slash two. We can see the serial interface. Yes. Now we will give the command to show a running config. So it's more clear. Here we can see the device name enables a secret. Yes, here we can see the interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 and its IP address. Now we are going to uh, document this. Here we can see the IP address of uh, uh, interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. I am going to copy that. Yes, here is gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. So I will paste it here. And next is a subnet mask. Here we can see the subnet mask. Right now, we'll see the uh, address and submit mask of the interface gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Here we can see that. Copy that. And the subnet mask is uh, same 252, right? So we will give that. Right. Now we will go to uh, G0 slash 2 interface. Here we can see that. And so here is the IP address. 
copy that okay and we can see the submit mask here Now we will go to uh, connecting devices here we are going to specify the device name and interface so uh, this r2 interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 is connected to which device and to which interface we will identify that here we can see uh, gigabit ethernet here we can see three uh, gigabit ethernet and two uh, serial interfaces we will actually we can uh, physically we can view and we can write the uh, device name and interface uh, in packet tracer we can keep the cursor here we can we can verify that but it is not coming for that we can go to options preferences and here we have an option show port labels so when mouse over in logical workspace we are going to enable that okay now we will cross check it coming to r2 first we will verify this interface okay this is a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 we can see that it is connected to uh, d1 and uh, to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 right so we will uh, give that here it is connected to d1 and we can see the interface uh, that is a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 specify that 0 slash 1 also we will verify the interfaces gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and 0 slash 2 uh, here we see this interface is a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and we can see it is connected to the device d2 uh, to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and here we can see the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 uh, which is connected to the device s3 uh, to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 right so we will document it yes this is connected to uh, d2 to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and uh, the uh, this uh, g0 slash 2 is connected to uh, the switch s3 and the interface is uh, g0 uh, slash 1 right in the same way we have to update the remaining fields in this uh, uh, addressing scheme uh, connection documentation so now i am not going to update in this uh, spreadsheet right i am going to explain here itself now we will uh, check uh, S3 here we can see the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 uh, is connecting to which device and to which interface here we can see the device S3 it is connecting to R2 yes so the device name is uh, R2 and it is connecting to the interface so here we can see it's a serial 0 so I'm sorry this uh, gigabit ethernet yeah gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 yes so here the interface is gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 next we will come to central server uh, here we can see we have to see the address we have to see the subnet mask it is connecting to the device and its interface okay here is our central server and uh, it is connecting to s3 and we can see the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 so here you can see it is connecting to uh, s3 and uh, the interface is a uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 1 also we can see the ip address and submit to mask coming to central server uh, desktop you have to go to command prompt here we have to give the ip config here we can see the ip address of this uh, uh, central server uh, ip address is 10.10.10.2 and the submit to mask is 255.255.255.0 now we will come to d1 uh, here we can see uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 we have to see the ip address submit to mask yeah which is kind of which device uh, it is connected and its interface here we can see the device d1 and we will check the ip address first okay password is a cisco enable password is class now we'll give a show 
running config will give so here we are going to see the ip address of gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 we can see yes this is 0 slash 1 right we can see the ip address here 10.255.255.246 and here we can see the subnet to mask 255.255.255.252 now we will see this uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 yes here it is it is connected to r2 uh, to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 now we will go to uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 okay we will see the ip address yes here we can see the ip address and uh, submit to mask also we can see uh, this interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 is connected to uh, we will verify that here we'll see yes here we can see gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 which is connected to d2 uh, to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 now we will go to uh, in the same device d1 fast ethernet 0 slash 23 so here uh, the ip address uh, and the subnet to mask is not applicable and uh, and it is connected to which device and to which interface okay here we can see that we will check this interface here we can see fast ethernet 0 slash 23 which is connecting to the device s2 to the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 23 also here we can see fast ethernet 0 slash 24 address and submit to mask not applicable and uh, it is connecting to the device here we can see uh, yes it is connecting to s1 uh, to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 now we will uh, come to uh, the device s1 here we can see we are going to see the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 23 is going to which device and to the which interface and the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 is connecting to uh, which interface and which device okay we will verify that here we can see the device s1 okay we will see this interface yeah here it is fast ethernet 0 slash 23 which is connecting to the device d2 to the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 23 and here we can see the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 which is uh, uh, going to the device d1 connecting to the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 24 now we will go to the device uh, d2 and we are going to see the details of fast ethernet 0 slash 24 uh, g0 slash 1 g0 slash 2 okay coming to d2 password is cisco enable class here we are going to see show uh, we'll see running config and we can see interface uh, ip addresses and subnet mask yes here we can see the ip address of fast ethernet 0 slash 24 yes and also we can see the ip address of gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 here it is and coming to 0 slash 2 now we will see these uh, d2 interfaces are connected to here we can see uh, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 24 is connected to the device s2 to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 okay and here we can see the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 which is connected to the device r2 to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and here we can see the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 which is connected to d1 to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 and uh, this already given in the uh, table uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 23 is connected to s1 0 slash 23 yes here we can see that finally we will go to s2 here we can see uh, we have to check fast ethernet 0 slash 23 and gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 is connected to okay we will come to s2 here we can see s2 uh, coming to this interface 
that is a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 we can see it is connected to the device D2 uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 24 and uh, here we can see fast Ethernet 0 slash 23 is connected to D1 and the inter uh, this interface uh, fast Ethernet 0 slash 23 here we can see uh, the fully uh, updated documentation yes so this is a pretty easy uh, packet tracer activity uh, but uh, this is very important uh, we know that uh, network documentation uh, helps us to troubleshoot the issues also this packet tracer activity uh, taught us some of the uh, show commands uh, which can be uh, given on uh, uh, different devices like uh, routers or maybe switches or maybe uh, like you know uh, layer 3 switches even in edge devices friends don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get my latest video upload information into your gmail stay tuned bye bye